Marvel is home to some of the most powerful teams in comics, but which teams rank among the most powerful? Super Temps have been a big part of comics since the Golden Age, when DC introduced the first one, the Justice Society of America. Over the years, the concept would be refined, with the Silver Age of comics seeing an explosion of Super Temps, the ones that most people think of when they think of Super Temps. Marvel has long had some of the best teams in the history of the comics industry powerful teams full of compelling heroes that fans love. It's accurate to say that without Marvel's additions to Super Thames, they wouldn't be nearly as well thought of. Let's take a look at some of Marvel's most powerful teams. Number 5 is Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. The X-Men's opposite number, the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants has boasted some very powerful members over the years, like Magneto, Scarlet Witch, Avalanche, and more. The most powerful incarnation was probably the original, which included Magneto, Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, Mastermind, and Toad. That said, these were the Silver Age versions of the characters powerful but not the world enders some of them would become. Future rosters would be larger but not as powerful. The weird thing is they'd be more formidable than the original team, especially Mystique's team. Number 4 is Dark Avengers. Formed by Norman Osborn when he was in charge of the superhero initiative, the Dark Avengers were villains Moonstone, Daken, Bullseye, and Venom masquerading as heroes M's Marvel, Wolverine, Hawkeye, and Spider-Man and joined by Ares, the God of War, the Sentry, and Osborn himself as the Armored Iron Patriot. Ares and the Sentry are the ones who really gave this team their muscle, but the rest of the group was also proficient. Osborn used them as his enforcers, doing whatever dark deeds he needed them to, however, against some of the more powerful teams in the Marvel Universe, even with their powerhouses, they couldn't hang very well. Number 3 is the Inhuman Royal Family. While the Inhumans aren't nearly as popular as Marvel hoped they would be when they tried to push them as the new X-Men or, arguably, as they deserve to be, the core group, the royal family, is one of the most powerful assemblages heroes in the Marvel Universe. Medusa, Crystal, Triton, Karnak, and Gorgon are all formidable but the one that puts them over the top is Black Bolt. With his ability to channel electrons, he can unleash devastating sonic attacks. Fly, has super strength, has manipulated matter and energy, and more. The rest of the royal family is pretty powerful as well, but Black Bolt makes them one of the most powerful groups around. Number 2 is the Avengers. The Avengers have always been the top team in the Marvel Universe, the team that takes on the biggest threats. Their current roster, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, She-Hulk, Ghost Rider, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and Captain Marvel, is one of the most powerful rosters of the team in a while. They're well balanced between power and skill with some great leadership. On top of that, the Avengers can call on reservists that consist of some of the best heroes in the Marvel Universe, so if this team is somehow not able to take down a threat, they can call on even more backup. Number 1 is the X-Men. The X-Men and the Avengers go back and forth as far as power level goes, sometimes the Avengers are more powerful and sometimes the X-Men, but right now in 2020, the X-Men are vastly more powerful. The reason for this is simple they can call on just about every mutant hero or villain in the Marvel Universe. With the founding of the mutant nation of Krakoa, just about every mutant is united. That means that the X-Men can call on mainstays like Cyclops, Jean Grey, Storm, and Wolverine, as well as Magneto, Apocalypse, reality-altering mutants like Proteus and Jamie Braddock, and more. If it were to come down to war between Super Thames, the current X-Men would defeat them all and it wouldn't even be a hard fight for them. What are your thoughts? Let me know in comment section.